Hello? Oh, yes, Your Highness. No, nobody, Your Highness. Right away? Yes. 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 I understand. <laughs> Your Highness flatters me. Oh, Anna. Darling. I've got the whole evening off. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, but you shouldn't surprise me like this. But I wanted to surprise you. Won't you please? Oh, I'm delighted, but uh, uh, you shouldn't come to my apartment at this hour. Think of my position. Oh, it's always your position. Darling, how handsome you look in that coat. I could die in the arms of a coat like that. Uh, yes, uh, but not tonight, Anna. Do you smell it? Yes, what is it? It's my new perfume. I got it at a bargain. Isn't it seductive? Kiss of the East makes men forget. You were cheated, darling. Uh, now you'll have to go. Oh, so you don't like me tonight? You don't like my perfume? You haven't even kissed me? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really meant to do that, but your perfume made me forget. Oh, darling. <laughs> no, no, uh, darling, you, you'll really have to go, please. But I don't want to. No. Come on, quick, this way. No, 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 I don't want to. I, I won't go until you kiss me goodnight. Good night right? and go home. Kiss of the East. Do you miss your husband? Very much. But he won't be back till tomorrow. Are you quite sure? Good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, Joseph. Good evening, madam. Good evening.
Come in. Shall I serve the champagne now, Your Highness? My favorite vintage. How did you know? Well, I really didn't know. I read the story of Madame's life. Have you ever heard me sing? Once at the opera in Paris. But it was magnificent. Oh, thank you. Did your butler learn his diplomacy from you? My dear, the prince is only as diplomatic as his butler. Thank you, Your Highness. But you know what husbands are. I assure you, I do. If mine had his way, I'd never go out. She's wise. Meaning? Women, madame, are like cigars. Cigars? Once you let them go out, they are never so good again. And I've always been so true to my husband. You are much too good to be true. Oh. You have the most beautiful throat in all Vienna. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, do, 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 no. Come in. What a perfectly exquisite case. You like it? It was given to me by the Shah of Persia. Really? It's beautiful. I've never seen one like it. My dear, it's yours. Oh, no, I couldn't take it. Why not? If you like it, I want you to have it. You're very generous. But how could I possibly explain such a gift to my husband? You're very sweet. Thank you just the same. You have the most beautiful throat in all Vienna. It was given to me by the Shah of Persia. My dear, it's yours. No? Don't be alarmed, darling. I'll find out. Joseph? Joseph! Your Highness. Oh. Come in. What happened to the lights, Joseph? A thousand pardons, Your Highness. A fuse burned out. Hmm. I'll attend to it at once. Thank you, Joseph. This is charming. No. No. Mm. Well, maybe. What do you want me to sing? That little song you like so well in Paris? Von Baltin, and I want to see the prince at once. I'm sorry, sir, but His Highness is not at home. I know that His Highness is at home, and that there's a lady with him. I'm very sorry, sir, but His Highness has gone to bed. So early, alone? I don't believe you. Well, I, I... Does His Highness play the piano in bed? Yes, sir, His Highness is very musical. Ah. That's my wife, sing! I assure you, sir, there is no one singing. Get out of my yes, way! What? That's all the row, Joseph. I'm Baron von Belgium. How do you do, Baron? 
happy to meet you. Oh, Your Highness, that is my wife singing in there. Yes. Hasn't she a beautiful voice? Ah, won't you come in? My favorite record of the Baroness. She sings that magnificently, doesn't she? I, I hope you'll forgive me. I, I'm sorry. Oh, my dear Baron, uh, we all make mistakes. You see, I, I came home a day ahead of time to uh, surprise my wife. And when I called at the Opera House this evening and they told me that the Baroness had left with you, well, naturally, I... Uh, naturally, uh, <laughs> I understand how you felt. I was at the Opera this evening and your wife was kind enough to let me drive her home. Oh, indeed. May I use the telephone, Your Highness? I would like to call my wife. <laughs> yes, uh, certainly, my dear Baron. <coughs> certainly. Allow me to uh, phone your home for you. Provençal 24316. Hello? The Baroness von Barton at home? Baron von Barton calling. The Baron is calling, madam. Are you at home? Oh, yes, thank you. Hello. Hello, dear. Hello, darling. When did you get back? Just an hour ago. Really? I've missed you so terribly. I'm coming home at once. Please do, darling. You won't be long, will you? I'm so lonely for you. Where are you now? I'm at Prince von Romer's apartment. What on earth are you doing there? Uh, <clears throat> well, I'll explain that when I get home. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye, darling. Me, I, madam. Good night, madam. You had better use the back door. Good night, Joseph. Thank you. Oh. It's still very early. Surely you won't refuse a glass of champagne? Oh, but really, I couldn't. But I insist. <laughs> oh, Joseph. Champagne. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, uh, my wife is waiting. Oh, good night, Your Highness. Uh, good night. Uh, uh, thank you very much for driving my wife home. Oh, it was a pleasure, Baron. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Baron. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Cognac, Joseph. It's already your highness. Joseph, I'm just beginning to appreciate your position. It must be a great strain to be a butler to prince. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, uh, that is, that there are too many barons in the world. 
<laughs> you must be quite a Casanova, Joseph. But Casanova was an aristocrat, Your Highness. Do you handle your own affairs as well as you do mine? They are not like yours, Your Highness. Cooks, parlor maids, perhaps a governess at Christmas time. They don't appreciate finesse. Prince von Roma's apartment. The butler speaking. I couldn't say, sir. I see, sir. Count von Leer, Your Highness. Von Leer? Von Leer? But the Countess told me he was dead. He sounds like a very angry corpse, Your Highness. Well, tell him I've gone to... Uh, His Highness is going to... Uh, to... Uh, to... Uh, uh, Timbuktu. Timbuktu. What place did you recommend, sir? Joseph. Where did this come from? Miss Daisy left them here this evening, Your Highness. Daisy? Again? She promised me she would drown herself. She's waiting for the warm weather, Your Highness. Well, let's hope we have it soon. If I may make a suggestion, Your Highness, change of air would do you good. You're right. New scenery, that's what I want. We could open the villa at Monte Carlo, Your Highness. Take the express tomorrow, Joseph. I will follow. For one, uh, Lava, Monsieur. May I, Madame? Uh, uh, the regular dinner, please. The cat, the poulet, ou le roti? Of course. Très bien, Monsieur. Have you come to page 26 yet, madame? Uh, uh, pardon me, but that is where the lady loses her, uh, her way home. Uh, uh, shall I close that window for you, madame? No, thank you. I, I just thought that madame was uh, rather cold. Monsieur, are you trying to start a conversation with me? Yes, madame. Please don't trouble. Madame. I know that, but where could it have got to? Are you sure you had it with you, madame? Of course. Didn't you see it? I did not, madame. What shall I do? Is this your purse, madame? Oh, yes. Many thanks, monsieur. <coughs> madame should be careful. How can I thank you, monsieur? It was so kind of you to take so much trouble. Oh, no trouble at all. I was hoping the purse was lost so that you would have dinner with me. But I'm having dinner with you, monsieur. Uh, at least it's the same table. Oh, you were here anyway. So that's no reward for having found the bag. You're very nice, monsieur. Uh, so you will have dinner with me? Uh, uh, waiter. Uh, uh, champagne, Clicquot, 1921. Uh, do you like Clicquot, 1921? Oh, I adore it. Uh, uh, yes, it's quite nice. It's all right. I will send the wine steward, monsieur. <laughs> it's a lovely evening, isn't it? Yes, lovely. <laughs> oh, good luck, madame. <laughs> May I close the window for you now? Monsieur, you're very thoughtful. <laughs> oh, here we are. Oh. This is my compartment. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wonder what this luggage is doing in my compartment. Oh, but this is also my compartment. Yours? I assure you I had nothing to do with it. May I see your ticket? Yeah. Oh, they've given us the same compartment. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. Uh, well, I'll have the porter give me another one. <laughs> what a silly mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've had dinner together. We had the same book. We even have the same compartment. But you haven't told me anything about yourself. 
Shall I make up the room, monsieur? Yes, please. I hope you have no trouble finding another compartment. Oh, the train is full of them. Pardon, monsieur, shall I make up uh, two birds? Uh, one, please. <coughs> no, I don't like cigars. Um, women, madame, are like cigars. Cigars? Yes. Once you let them go out, they are never so good again. Oh, you're terribly clever. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Everything is ready, monsieur. Uh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, well, uh, thank you so much, monsieur. You've been very kind. Hmm. Uh, good night. Good night. I am so upset mind with my luggage. You see, I was afraid that before I found the compartment, it would be very late. And I didn't want to disturb you after you went to bed. That was very thoughtful of you, monsieur. Madame is comfortable? Yes, quite comfortable. <sighs> you wanted your bag, monsieur. Oh, yes, of course, of course, my bag. Madame looks adorable. Thank you. The negligee is, is, is very becoming. Well, uh, good night. Uh, good night. You got that, Monsieur? <laughs> Madame, uh, Madame, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but I forgot my bag. <laughs> madame, can you hear me, Madame? Oh, Madame. Oh, good night, Madame. Good night. Madame, 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 Come in. You rang, madame? Yes, I want you to make up my room. Oui, madame. And, uh, by the way, the gentleman, is he up yet? Oui, madame. Please put up a table and bring me the breakfast menu at once. And, uh, oh, oh, oh uh, uh, the gentleman, will you tell him, please, that I would like him to have breakfast with me? Oui, madame. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Did you sleep well, monsieur? Oh, oh perfectly. Uh, uh, well, in the manner of speaking. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me who you are? Uh, it wasn't fair of you, monsieur. Well, I am... Uh... Dear, dear, and when I found out... How did you find out? On your luggage. You're a prince. I saw Prince A von R in gold. I'll find out. What's the delay? We are getting a new locomotive. Oh, thank you. Look, a country fair, isn't it quaint? Would you like to go? Would I? I mean, it would be interesting to mingle with those people. That is, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, not at all. I've always wanted to know how the lower classes enjoy themselves. Oh, look, Your Highness, a merry-go-round. Do you think we've time? I'll find out. <laughs> Oh, conductor, how long will we be here? Oh, not more than four minutes. Engines are coming right up. Thank you. Well, 
Oh, we have plenty of time. At any rate, a train wouldn't dare to leave without me. Servants, why? Because they can go on merry-go-round. Well, we can't go on the merry-go-round, too. Do you mean you'd really like to go? Only with you. Wouldn't everybody die if they knew who you were? <laughs> uh, wouldn't they? <laughs> Let's go. We want to go on the merry-go-round. They shall go on the merry-go-round. <laughs> Engineer severely punished. Oh, please don't do that. It's our fault. Well, but only for your sake. What are we going to do now? I don't know. you going to tell me your name? Please. To you it is simply Marie. Marie. So look on me as just a plain, simple girl. <laughs> <laughs> that amuses your highness. Well, it does. Why, a lady like that. I can tell you move in the very highest circle. You can? Oh, what a glance. How? By your voice. Oh, I see. Just by a glance at my voice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Am I laughing too much? No. Please, lad. You have the loveliest lad. You are a Casanova. Tell me, how long are you ever through to? Sometimes forever. How easily you say that. Forever. Come on, let's dance. Let's Look! It's waltzing! The table! Everything is waltzing! <laughs> A big pardon. Um, the car you is ready, sir. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks, sir. <laughs> I thought perhaps you'd like to drive to Monte Carlo. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> You're not afraid, are you? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Hey, Pierre. Remember, 
take your time. Oui, monsieur. Marie! Marie! Hey, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes? Marie! 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 Are those my new cigarettes, Joseph? Yes, Your Highness. How do you like them? Oh, much better, Your Highness. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, well, I'm glad you like him. Joseph, the wrong tie. I beg your pardon, Your Highness. Yesterday, you sent me out without spats, and tonight, the wrong tie. What's the matter with it, Joseph? In love? You are in love. Yes, Your Highness. Tales, Joseph. Oh. <laughs> Who is she? A lady, Your Highness. I met her on the train. We went to a wine garden, and then we were going to drive to Monte Carlo. Yes? There was a moon, Your Highness. Yes? Yes. Then she got out and walked home. Is that all my training has done for you? If your highness could only see her smile. Joseph, a woman's smile is like a bath that Turn it on and you are in hot water. Well, don't you think it's funny? Yes, your highness. Well, perhaps it isn't. Your Highness will be out late tonight. Yes, Your Highness will be out very late tonight. Good night, Joseph. Pleasant evening, Your Highness. Information, please. Hello, operator. Can you get me Marie? No, no, I, I, I don't know the name. I know only the address. Yes, Villa Millefleur, Lindbergh Avenue. Well, I've forgotten the name. and followed you. But you got away too quickly. You must never call me here. It's terribly dangerous. Now my husband might come home. He does sometimes, you know. I didn't tell you? Oh, how forgetful of me. Oh, what are you doing? Have you anything on? Practically nothing at all. <laughs> well, I wouldn't dream of coming. Oh, no, no. A lady going to a man's villa unaccompanied at night. Why, well, I never heard of such a thing. Oh, no, you can't come here. 
No. 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 Well, I really shouldn't. All right, flip a coin. Heads I'll go, tails I won't. All right. Here goes. I win. You've got to come. No, right now, immediately. If you are not here in ten minutes, I'm coming over to get you, husband or no husband. Where is your villa? Yes? Yes. I won't breathe until you get here. Where you look. <laughs> no, 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 no. I only came to tell you that you must never telephone me again. Of course. Of course. Yes. And, uh, and, and I didn't come to stay. <sighs> oh. What lovely flowers. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Fresh every day. I've never before set foot in a gentleman's apartment at this hour. Whatever must you think of me? It would take me all night to tell you. <laughs> May I? But, but the servant. Oh, there is no one here but me. <laughs> I'm a respectable woman. I won't stay longer than ten minutes. <laughs> respectable women never stay longer than ten minutes. Oh, who's the lady? Oh, a distant aunt of mine. But it's the Queen of Romania. Uh, so it is. <laughs> so it is. Of course, I remember now. She married the King of Romania. <laughs> but you know how these relatives are, of course. They sometimes marry this one, sometimes marry that one, sometimes they marry each other. <laughs> Whatever are you doing? Oh, <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Will you have a drink? Thank you. It's only the telephone. Yes, the telephone. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer it? No, no. Uh, I, I mean, I don't want anyone to know that I'm in. I'll answer it for you. No, no, no. Oh, uh, that wouldn't do. Uh, Why don't you pretend to be the butler? The butler? Yes, say you're out. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> Hello? Prince Van Roma's villa. The butler speaking. No, His Highness is out, sir. I hardly think he'll be back tonight. Very well, sir. Well, I fooled him, didn't I? Oh, you are wonderful, <laughs> Your Highness. <gasps> if my husband knew I was here... What would he do? Oh, he's terrible. So jealous. Like a buffalo. Aren't you afraid? I afraid? Why, I face the whole menagerie for you. <laughs> oh, please, won't you stay? Now, just a minute, Aunt.
<laughs> I suppose a man in your position would never have anything to do with anyone but a real lady. Oh, exclusively. To attract me, a woman must have, uh, well... Uh, what? All the things you have. Your voice and your charm. Oh, you say the loveliest things. <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? I think I can guess. <laughs> Ooh, books. I adore books. Romantic books. Primitive love. That ought to be good. Now, 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 you needn't demonstrate. Marie, you have the most beautiful throat in all Vienna. Uh, Monte Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, it tickles. Besides, you should never do things behind a lady's back that you wouldn't do to her face. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see what? Thank you. What a beautiful case. May I see it? Rather nice, isn't it? It was given to me by the Shah of Persia. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Do you like it? Like it? I'm crazy about it. <laughs> oh, my dear. It's yours. Oh, Prince. Oh, you're a darling to give it to me. <laughs> uh. I think I'd better go. Uh. Oh, my bag. Uh, yeah. You're not really going? I never should have come. Are you sorry? No. smile at me like that. Oh, Your Highness, don't you like my smile? A woman's smile is like a bath, then. Turn it on and you're in hot water. Oh, Your Highness, that's very good. You think so? I thought it was rather dull. Maybe it isn't. <laughs> oh, no, Your Highness. Everything you say is wonderful. <laughs> Can't keep him out. Come in. A thousand pardons, Your Highness. The fuse burned out. I serve the champagne now, Your Highness. Uh, no, 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 no. But I have it ready, Your Highness. In ice. No trouble at all. Have I uh, very well. Uh, 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 I'll be right back. Excuse me a moment. But please. you told me your servant was out. He was out, but he came back. I can't help that, can I? Why don't you send him to bed? No, he never goes to bed. 
dear, what will he think finding me here? Oh, he's very discreet. Oh, don't tell me. I know what servants are. But he's different. He comes from an excellent family. Please, go and tell him not to bother about the champagne. Oh, I can hardly... Do as I ask. I don't want him to come in here again. I see what I can do. All right. But give me a moment, please. Have you... I am desperate. I'm, I'm beside myself. I assure you, I don't know how it all happened. It's possible. I came home a little too soon. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Uh, uh, that is, Your Highness. You should have told me you expected a visitor. I didn't expect her. You see the telephone, Your Highness. What doesn't the man say over the telephone? And all of a sudden, she was here. She's a lady, Your Highness. That's what drove me so blindly into this adventure. I was so happy to think that once a real lady noticed me. When one has always served ladies and only known cooks and ladies' maids. But perhaps you, you don't understand. How far are things gone before my inconvenient arrival? Oh, they didn't go at all, Your Highness. I mean, little kiss here and there, but you wouldn't call that going, Your Highness, would you? A little kiss here and there is bound to help Joseph. <laughs> How is it, Joseph? It's, it's, it's all right, Your Highness. Uh, I'll get rid of her. Oh, no, why? She is charming. Oh, but you won't take her away from me, Your Highness. If she knew that you are the prince and I am the butler. That would be awkward, wouldn't it, Joseph? But I am in love with her, Your Highness. I feel terrible. Take an aspirin, Joseph. That will calm you. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh. Uh, Joseph, take your time. I'll let hand to the lady. Uh. Did you send it away? Thank you, madam. May I serve some champagne, madam? No, thank you. Madam reads Greek. Oh, yes, I love the classics. I'm very fond of all foreign languages. It's easier this way, madam. Drink this, madam. It will calm you. Champagne, madame? Oh, a thousand pardons, madame. Forgive me. You clumsy clown! Oh, if madame only can forgive me. Go away, won't you? Very well, madame. How dare you! Forgive me, madame. It's a weakness of mine, always when I see such a beautiful back. I forget myself. You must be off your nut. Oh, no, madame. Oh, please forgive me. A fine butler you are. I'll have you thrown out on your ear. Oh, please, madame, don't give me away. And I won't give you away. What do you mean? Nothing. You, you said you wouldn't give me away. Did I say that? Yes, and you meant it. You've seen me somewhere before. No, madame. But the world is very small. Oh, Joseph, please don't say anything to his highness. Please don't tell him. I won't give you away, Joseph. Thank you, madame.
Now, what's the matter, Joseph? She's gone. She's disappeared, Your Highness. What, again? I'll never see her again. This is the end. Now, why do you suppose she ran away? The Cinderella complex, perhaps. Everything was going so beautifully. Until I came? And... Better have a drink, Joseph. Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> Poor Joseph. <laughs> Let me have my cigarette case, will you? I saw you put it in the pocket of that coat. Well, I will see. What the devil is the matter with you? Uh, Your Highness, the cigarette case. Well, well. You see, Your Highness, it was like this. I have always admired Your Highness's technique with the ladies. And then she admired the case. And I said, it's yours. She... Well? She... She took it. Well, she's the first lady who ever did that. You must get it back, Joseph. It's most useful. Oh. and you can sleep in your own room. Don't threaten me. I've plenty more words to say. Sure. Now listen, Polly. Oh. I want to know... Oh, for heaven's sake, stop nagging me, Rupert. Then where were you from 10 till 12? I've told you. I was playing roulette in the crystal room. I, I was there twice. I, I, I didn't see you at the tables. Did you look under the tables? Yes, and another thing. At dinner time, you were flirting with that Captain Russell. Don't be ridiculous. I hardly smiled at the man. Oh, yes, it always starts with one of your smiles. But where does it end? Oh. Please, give me my handkerchief, will you? I asked you for my handkerchief. You're quite sure you were playing roulette from 10 to 12? For the 10th time, yes. So that's all you have to say? No. Ah. I just want to say that I was an idiot to marry a fussy, stupid, jealous, disagreeable, doddering old fossil like you. What are you ringing for? You'll soon see. Come in. You rang, madame? Very. Go and turn down the bed in the Count's room and draw a nice, hot, soothing bath for him. Very good, madame. you were somebody else. I don't wish to hear your explanations. I shall inform my husband of what you've done. Yes, but madame, please. Uh... 
Who's that lady over there? Uh, that is the Countess von Richenheim, Your Highness. Uh, thank you. Quickly, please. Bonne nuit, madame. In that case, I shall have to forgive you. <laughs> Why can't you get me that number? Oh, rats! I've been trying all day to get you. I can't come in. I only came for something. Oh, tell me, why did you run away? Oh, please, I can't tell you. What's the matter, Marie? My slipper. I came for my slipper. Did you find it? Oh, yes, I found it. Uh, I mean, Joseph found it. I'll get it for you. Uh, Wait a minute. Did Joseph say anything to you? What about? About me. But do you think I would permit my butler to discuss you? And anyway, he's out for leave. Yes, you said that last night. I hate butlers, such snooping, horrid creatures, always peeking through a keyhole. Oh, but not all butlers are like that. No, 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 I can't stay. Please give me my slipper. All right, I'll get it for you. It's in my, uh, it's in Joseph's room. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't come in here. <laughs> Just a moment, Mary. There is something else I... Uh, it's about that... Uh, do you remember that cigarette case I gave you? Oh, yes. Did you find that, too? Find it? Yes. I thought I had it in my bag, but when I looked this morning, it was gone. Gone? But you put it in your bag. I saw you. You, you. you popped it in before I had a chance to... Well, it's gone. Do you suppose your husband found it? That's impossible. <laughs> Here. I am Count von Rischenheim. I want to see His Highness immediately. Uh... I'm very sorry, Count, but I'm just leaving. So I see. Uh, in a kimono. Is this your cigarette case? Yes, where did you find it? I found this in my wife's bag last night. Can you explain that, sir? Oh, well, uh, that's most remarkable. Uh, uh, was your wife at the casino last night? Yes. Oh, no, then I can explain. I was at the casino last night myself. I was playing roulette with uh, my good friend, the Archduchess. And uh, may I ask, Count, is your wife an old blonde? My wife is a young, slight, slimish brunette. That's right. There was a slim, slummish brunette seated very close to me. And you understand, Count, when one plays roulette, one's mind isn't on one's surroundings. So it is quite possible that I accidentally put the case into your wife's bag instead of the Archduchess's. Uh, and why should you put your cigarette case into the Archduchess's bag? <laughs> now, now, come, don't be indiscreet. You expect me to believe that? Well, I hope you would. Uh, I mean, a gentleman's word count should be sufficient. A gentleman's word about a lady means nothing. Sir! I've just come from the casino, and a waiter told me that my wife left there with you. But I wasn't in the casino. You're a liar. Uh, I will. You saw my wife tonight, and you. Ha ha! Her slipper! Is this your wife's slipper? Well, I ought to know. Oh, I assure you that. Uh, uh, 
she's in there. No. No. Out of my way. Marie! Don't you dare to lay a finger on her. <laughs> Your Highness, I'm afraid there's been a little mistake. <laughs> a mistake? Is this the lady to whom you gave the cigarette case? Yes. Isn't oh. she your wife? Oh, no, no, no. Not in the least. <laughs> I congratulate you, Mary. I congratulate you also, Your Highness. As for you, Mary, of course, after this, you understand you're through. <laughs> Marie, what does it all mean? Oh, please don't ask me. Here, take it. Why, Marie? I can't take it from you. I have no right. He found it in his wife's bag. Do you know his wife? Yes, very well, I see. Then if he's not your husband, who is? I have not a husband. I lied to you. I am not been I you. I'm going to leave Monte Carlo. I'm never going to see you again. But I want you to know, Your Highness, that I'll never forget you. You'll always be my Prince Charming. Okay. Oh, just a moment, Marie. I want to ask you one question. Supposing I were not a prince, supposing I were just a simple man, would that have made any difference? You wouldn't have looked at me, would you? Be honest, Marie. You just wanted to play with the prince, didn't that you? That isn't true. Supposing I were a, oh, a, a, a very simple man. No title, no wealth. A plain, common man like, like uh, Joseph, for instance. Oh, I forgot you have an aversion to butlers. Oh, what difference does it make? If you love a man, you don't care who or what he is. Marie! Oh, no, 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 I'm going. But Marie, you must listen. Close. Oh, forgive me, madame. I, I came for your slipper. You were right, Prince. She is my maid. Your maid, madame? Yes, Joseph. Are you going to remain the prince for the rest of your life? Oh, uh, forgive me, your highness. And, and here is your cigarette case. Hmm. Fine. And you, you're the prince? And, and who are you? My butler, Joseph. You're Joseph? Yes. I am Joseph, just a butler. I'm sorry, Marie. Oh! oh Marie, please. A butler? How dare you? Marie! Miss Politsky, do you? Let me pass, Your Highness. You a prince. You're as much like a prince as... you're like a lady. How dared you? I was very ladylike. Oh, very ladylike. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, you beast. You made a fool of me. I wouldn't do that again if I were you. I do it as often as I want. I hate you! Oh. <laughs> Why, what have I done? It's not exactly princely, Joseph, but very effective. Your Highness, Madam, forgive me, I didn't realize. Casanova wouldn't let the lady get away like that. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. I'm sorry for Joseph. He's much too good-looking to be a butler. Don't you feel sorry for me, madame? You are much too good-looking for my peace of mind. Oh. <laughs> and when I took the veil off, it was only her maid. <laughs> it wasn't my wife at all. Cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the case. It's a beautiful thing. You like it, madame? Of course, it's lovely. It's yours. I really should take it to save you any more trouble. <laughs> no trouble at all, my dear. Oh, 
thousand pardons, Your Highness, a fuse burned out. This is charming. Can you forgive me? Then will you marry me? Even if I'm a hurried, snooping creature? But not all butlers are like that. Oh. <laughs> 